Hey everybody, what's up? Jamie Gilchrist here, Industry Solution Evangelist for Autodesk Manufacturing. I uh, want to talk to you today a little bit about uh, navigating your CV structures uh, using Autodesk Alias Design. Uh, this is some basic tutorials that uh, I hope you'll find helpful, especially if you're new to using Alias. Uh, one of the things that you're always going to want to do uh, when designing a product or just designing some shapes and forms is you're going to want to manipulate at the very least your curves using CV so you can really hone in on the shape that you want. Uh, one of the ways that you have to do this is by manipulating the, the CV structure of the, of the curve. And in this case, uh, you know, you have to do a, a marking menu, select CV, move, go back to your marking menu, select the next CV, unselect the first one, and it's really kind of, can be kind of tedious that way. Um, although it's really fast being able to do it with the marking menu right there at your point of interest, uh, one of the things you want to be able to do is get across your CV structure really fast and stay within your move tool so you can keep, you know, kind of honing in the shape, you know, very quickly as you can see I'm doing here. And one of the fastest ways to do that is to actually use the control and the arrow key on your keyboard. Uh, as you hold down the control and arrow key, uh, you can actually move across your CVs in your on your curve. Now in this case with a surface, I can do the same thing, uh, moving across both the U and V structure of the surface. So here I've selected my my you know basically the origin point and I need to move across the U structure which I do holding the control and using the right left uh, arrow keys on my keyboard if I want to move across the V structure as you see uh, I'm using the up and down arrow keys this allows you to do some really um, fine tuning of your surfaces and you know with the history intact you're gonna you're gonna maintain a continuity from one surface to across your blends it's a really fast and quick way to manipulate your surfaces to really tighten in on the shape that you're trying to uh, establish. When you get into fine-tuning some blend surfaces, uh, as you see a lot in automotive design, uh, where you really need to do some really minutia tweaking of those CVs, uh, this, is, this will be a really handy tool for you because you can go back and forth really quick. That's the tip I have for today. Follow me on Twitter, jmeg2169, and have a great day.